Well, first of all, it's, it has an enormous symbolic value, uh, emphasizing the importance the two economies attach to a closer relationship. Also, it allows the businessmen uh, to go uh, into each other markets, you know, a, 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 give them the, a, the encouragement to do so. I would wish very much that it would be not only a one-way traffic, but a two-way traffic. Despite the fact that we have been uh, on very good relations so far, the volume of trade and, a, and the value of investment we have on each other's place is so small, it's less than one billion US dollars. I believe we could do a lot more. And I'm sure the free trade agreement will provide a message, the impetus and a catalyst for businessmen to realize where the benefits is. And also through Hong Kong into the huge mainland market. Chile and wine. Although Chile and wine has already got a market share in Hong Kong, I believe we can do a lot more. You have the strength, you have the tradition, you have the varieties, in fact you have the high quality which we're going to get a much larger market, not only in Hong Kong, but a much larger, larger market in the mainland. As you know, Hong Kong is already the largest wine distributing center in East Asia, and the wine auction value is now exceeded that in New York or in London. So this is an area in which I can see there's enormous strength of Chile. Maybe we have been promoted less than we should be. We have not been able to explain our benefits to the Chilean people and to Latin American countries. And also the distance plays a part. If I may say so, Latin America is not featured very well in a whole of the mainland Asian market for that matter. It's not only in Hong Kong. I think you can do a lot more into the mainland of China. You can do a lot more, say, India. You can do a lot more in Korea and so on. We have not done that. You know, in fact, most of our bilateral relationship anchored on export of raw material, particular metal, like copper and so on. I believe that's going to do a lot more than this. A lot. For instance, we in Hong Kong import quite a lot of agricultural products, your grapes, your, 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 your beef, and, and, and so on. But I think that perhaps I, I, I can see that it is a modern society with a very educated workforce, a very sophisticated community. I think we can do a lot more together. I think the problem is we are so distant apart, and at the same time, you have very many neighboring friends with whom we can trade very comfortably in the past. We in Hong Kong also were comfortable with trading partners nearby in China, in Korea, and Singapore, and so on and so forth. But now the world is different. We are now being drawn together in a global village. And then at the same time, there are the major economies doing, this, doing a major slowdown. And we have to work together and work harder. I don't blame anybody, but I believe that this is something we have to overcome. It is not easy for us to come to South of Latin America. And I can see it's not easy for Latin American businessmen to come to us. Time difference, unfamiliarity with the markets and so on. But you have to start somewhere. This is the wave that is coming, the Asian wave. We must seize it. That's how I look at it.